today. The said television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, Armenak Abrahamian's first intervention at the Indigenous People's Caucus on the Armenian Indigenous Language, Lydia Markusian's first intervention at the Indigenous People's Caucus tribute to Lazaro Pali, Lydia Markusian's second speech to the Indigenous People's Caucus on the Armenians of Artsakh, election campaign of the candidates to the National Assembly of Western Armenia, Sons of Western Armenia, Eric Abrahamian, on the issue of the Armenians of Western Armenia, election campaign, Susanna Vartanian. During the Indigenous People's Caucus held on Sunday, July 16, 2023, as a preamble to the session of the United Nations Expert Mechanism on Indigenous Peoples in Geneva and Intergovernmental Mechanism where Indigenous people are represented, Mr. Armenak Abrahamian, President of the National Council of Western Armenia, and Mrs. Lydia Markosian made several interventions. Their speeches were part of the Expert Mechanism agenda, covering a range of issues such as the impact of militarization on the right of indigenous peoples, the global action plan for the decade of indigenous languages and the strengthening of indigenous peoples' participation in the United Nations. Regarding the topic of indigenous languages, Mr. Armenak Abrahamian had this to say, our language is Western Armenian. As such, we'd like to present our language and explain to member states and indigenous people how our language works. For example, we have translated the Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples into Western Armenian. Could you kindly present it to the experts? We are eager to receive some answers on this matter. At the meeting of the Indigenous Peoples Caucus held prior to the session of the United Nations Expert Mechanism on Indigenous Peoples in Geneva on July 16, 2023, Foreign Minister Lydia Markosian paid tribute to the memory of a historic figure in the defense of human rights. Mrs. Markosian declared, I would like to pay tribute to a historic indigenous representative who was instrumental in the drafting of the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples and who recently passed away. His name was Lazaro Perry, a representative of a co-chair people who left us with a profound statement. If humanity doesn't save indigenous peoples, it won't save itself. He envisioned collaborating with other indigenous peoples and successfully obtained United Nations Economic and Social Council status to advocate for their rights. It is with this perspective, and particularly if we aim for self-determination with the status of governance, which some of us have already implemented, that we will push forward to the Human Rights Council and the General Assembly. At the meeting of the Indigenous Peoples Caucus held prior to the session of the United Nations Expert Mechanism on Indigenous Peoples in Geneva on July 16, 2023, Lydia Markosian also spoke on the impact of militarization on the rights of indigenous peoples. In particular, Ms. Markosian stressed that the growing militarization in Turkey and Azerbaijan and the blockade imposed by the latter on the indigenous population of Artsakh posed a serious threat to territories 120,000 inhabitants. Mrs. Margosian recalled that Artsakh was an integral part of Armenia recognized in 1920 and that Western Armenia was the successor state. The Election Commission of the National Assembly of Western Armenia invites you to participate in the 20 Zoom meeting organized as part of the election campaign for the NA elections to be held in December in Armenian and French languages. The meeting will take place on July 20, 2023 at 8 p.m. French time, 10 p.m. Yerevan time. The theme of the meeting, the United Nations, Indigenous Peoples and Western Armenia. Eric Abrahamian was born in Hadrut on September 24, 1961. From 1979 to 1981, he served in the USSR Armed Forces. From 1989 to 1994, he took part in self-defense and liberation battles in Hadrut, Varanda, Jerakam, Vorotan, and other regions. From 1989 to 1992, he was the commander of the Hadrut Self-Defense Squad. Since 1993, he had headed the operational department. He died in the village of of Said Dahmedlu, Varanda region. Eric Abrahamian was posthumously awarded the Order of the Republic of Artsakh, Combatant Cross, first degree. He is buried in Hadrut, Artsakh. 
The earliest mentions of wartime and miraculous died date back to the time of Moses Horenati and Lazar Parpeti. Medieval historians describe the Scarlet Fortune in their works. Here is how Lazar Parpeti describes it in his history. Also, it does not fit in vain on the shoots of reed worshipping plants from the most coveted domain of Ararat, but also by giving birth to worms in the form of a red jewel. It offers utility and luxury to those who use it. In addition to Armenian authors, testing Testimonies from foreign historians have also been preserved. Arab historians wrote about the red insect. Armenians have a very strange insect found nowhere except in Armenia. It's a red insect that lives in the ground and appears only 10 days a year, early in the morning, during which time it must be collected. Roman historians also report that in 275, the Shah of Persia sent the Emperor Arigianos a gift of apricot colored cloths, the magnificent color of which surprised the Emperor who had seen so much that he absolutely wanted to know its homeland, and they informed him that such a thing could only be found in Armenia. Often in faraway lands instead of the Armenian world, they used the expression the Red Land of the Vortan. Vermilion production was the monopoly of Armenian kings. There were special paint workshops in the city of Artashad called Royal. The Arabs called Artashad the Scarlet City. Susanna Vartania was born in the town of Ararat, Ararat region, and her roots are in the village of Halila in western Armenia. She graduated from Parul Sevak No. 2 Elementary School and trained as a lawyer. She now lives in the village of Artabyung in the Vayotzo region and works at the Vayotzo Regional State College where she teaches law. Susanna Vartania's eldest son is Norar Sogomonyan, the hero who died in the 44-day war. You can watch the video about Susanna Vartanian on our Western Armenia TV YouTube page. Thank you for your time and attention. Now the musical part, the Armenian folk song. Ver çıkarım gönderle gam lavlur benim marhamar Saslı tırır fadat sorer garib gen inan ver Saslı tırır fadat sorer garib gen inan ver Mahmut o izenkler kodere bazdik bahanlar giler Mahmut o izenkler kodere bazdik bahanlar giler